I won't go yet. Okay. Can I my hand? Of course I will. Okay. Die here? No, just mommy and Jojo today. Well, I want Daddy to swing. Oh, so you can do a swing? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today, Joseph and I visited Lakeshore Learning Store, a learning store for teachers, home educators. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I've been wanting to go here for a while, so now you can shop with me. So. Uh, Joseph found the magnet tiles right away and started playing and then this like pop-up multiplication subtraction um, game was really fun then I found the whiteboards that I've been needing the store had so many cool games and resources this is like counting cones counting ice cream alphabet learning locks like corresponding keys and locks nuts about sorting you can sort nuts and bolts color whatever size this whole aisle is just full of these games I've never seen before like a target or anything this is just their brand um, I loved these like counting things this is vehicles we have bears that we use but you could sort them count them line them up Oh, I just wanted to get everything. This also caught my eye. It was like a peg board, a big peg board, foam board. And you could like line them up, make designs. I thought it was cool. I almost got it, but then I thought maybe it'd be a little bit old for him. But I could picture in the future like having a design, then you have to match it. There's also like a counting game with pegs. This was so cool. It's like an architecture set. They give you the walls, the roofs, and you build the house. Definitely considered it, but then this was cool. It was like Caucasian family, Asian family, African American family set. They were really high quality little like figurines. I was thinking about getting one. They're fifty dollars each, but it's like classroom quality, so this stuff is built to last. Um Create a burger, I thought that was cool. Joseph was really into this thing, treehouse thing but i loved like their stem they had so many building things science things joseph loved the store i think he picked up on my enthusiasm he kept saying this is amazing because i kept saying stuff like that and then as far as like plain toys go i mean i've never seen this much selection you go to like a target and you see some melissa and doug stuff but this was everything build a salad build a smoothie like anything you could imagine they had here the store was insane i all these little like babies and stuff for babies it was so cute tons of storage bins um, for the classroom and then they also had this flexible seating which is really in now for kids so you know sitting on a ball or sitting on these cool chairs instead of sitting in like a regular chair so that was fun. Everything was on sale and tons and tons of books. So I didn't know until we got there, this was actually their like flagship warehouse um, store. So they had a huge outlet, like a warehouse. Everything was like 75% off. It was crazy. It could not look through everything in time. So all these chairs were on sale and everything, like I said, is that really good quality. Like I think this was over $600 but then it was half off like all these cute little kids things so it was still very pricey but like it's also not just like cheap stuff from China it's like built to last like with 30 kids in a classroom this cool magnetic thing where you just like drag the little dots Joseph liked this was cool created chain reaction it said pre-k to grade 2 I felt it was a little bit um, beyond for Joseph I think he would enjoy it though in the near future Tons of Bob books, of course. And then I really liked all these early language skills games. It was like matching. It comes with all these little figurines and you match them on the um, cards or positional words above, behind, below, whatever. Like they just made all these concepts into games and it was so cool. 
and my favorite as a kid was always a human body so here's a lot of human body games this was like an apron and then you have the organs like you can pull them off you put the apron on the kid joseph loved these science things he thought that was medicine So yeah, we were kind of rushing through because the store was 30 minutes away, Elliot was sleeping, and we wanted to uh, get back when he woke up. But And I was trying to film at the same time, but now I'll show you what I got. All right, so you saw us shopping, and now this is our little haul. Everything was 20% off for back to school. The first thing I got was this whiteboard, just so that we could have a new whiteboard. The one from Dollar Tree is like absolutely trash. And it was four dollars. It might have been even less with the discount, but let's see. Okay, yeah, so this was three nineteen. Then I got these Brain Quest cards. These were eleven ninety five. And it comes with two packs for ages three to four. So I thought I could use these for like logic, you know, working with him. So cute. And they're really good questions. Like I asked him, you know, it's like Molly is lost in his maze, help her find a way out. Is this a full meal or a snack? What letter is this? Find two things you can use to play in the sand. And then it has the answer. And he likes them a lot. They're super fun to do. So I used to love these when I was a kid. Then I got this book, Respect and Take Care of Things. This was a really cool series. There's a bunch of different ones. I just got this one. This book was $11.99, 20% off. So they had a whole series and I just like that. I like the pictures and I like obviously the message. But yeah, they have like all of these. I got these counting cubes, Unifix cubes. They were $15.99, no discount on these. There was a lot of different, there was way bigger packs of these, bigger like storage containers. They're kind of like for counting when you get into that. So they're a little bit premature to get for him, but he likes them, likes playing with them. And I thought I could make some cool activities with them. But yeah, as you can see, everything I got was $30 and under and a lot of things there were like $50 plus but they were quality things so like if I wanted something I just didn't have like a dire need for any anything major construction floor puzzle at first he was kind of struggling with it but then by the end he was getting better at like putting the pieces together so I thought this would be a good puzzle starter thing because he hasn't really been that into puzzles in the past next we got this magnetic match rings it says ages 3 plus this was $15, but with the 20% off, it went, got down to $11.99. You can see my kids already got into it, but it's really cool. So you set this up, and then you put a card here, and it shows you how to put the magnets, and then they can stack here, so you can like float them, and I mean, obviously one side attracts, one side repels. We did it, might be a little bit advanced for him, but it's something that I could put away in storage and maybe like bring out six months or something like that. And then lastly, we got this, which is really cool. What I love there, they had so many games like this. So many games, like their brand, I don't know, that I would just love to get. But this one was the most expensive. This one was 32. And um, it's beginning letter sound. So I thought this would be a good game for him. So it launches, it launches like a little letter. And then you have your, kind of like bingo, you have your thing and you match it to the beginning sound. So we played this this morning. This has got this, I got these little letters. And he was already like sort of getting it. I, something about games just makes kids, you know, learn things so fast. You know, we could sit there and like drill something forever, but then you have a game and they like suddenly get it. So yeah, all in all, I spent $113 worth every penny. Steven was like, go for it, get whatever you want. but. I could have spent hours and hours there. Like, I want to go back so badly. I realized that's like, I told Steven for my birthday, I want to go get ramen and then go to the store. <laughs> it's like my dream come true. I, I don't know if there's any store. It's like that in the container store. So if you want to know my personality, that in the container store. And the container store is so stupidly expensive. I can't even, I don't even enjoy spending money on that stuff. But this was so fun. It's fun to have like a reason to get stuff there too. Because obviously I have a little boy now that's like starting to be able to use these things but I could have just blown thousands of dollars of there but yeah this is really really fun definitely want to go back so yeah thanks for coming along with me and hope this was interesting to you I wish it was closer I wish I had more stores like this nearby but I mean 30 minutes is not bad so yeah thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video bye